Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in Atlanta, Georgia, it's time for Atlanta Business Radio. Brought to you by OnPay. Built in Atlanta, OnPay is the top-rated payroll and HR software anywhere. Get one month free at OnPay.com. Now, here's your host. Lee Cantor here, another episode of Atlanta Business Radio, and this is going to be a good one. But before we get started, it's important to recognize our sponsor, OnPay. Without them, we could not be sharing these stories. Today on Atlanta Business Radio, we have Chris Davis with Field Experience. Welcome, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Well, before we get too far into things, tell us about Field Experience. Uh, how are you serving folks? Yeah, so uh, a little bit about Field Experience. Um, you know, Field Experience, what we've done, it really starts with our co-founders, uh, Sharon Outram and Joey Lynn Bialkowski, and their vision for, uh, you know, this this new workforce readiness uh, platform for young people and, um, and employers. So uh, essentially uh, the vision is an, uh, an on-demand workforce training platform that allows uh, young people and professionals to gain uh, power skills or soft skills, what, what we're used to hearing through these, uh, these immersive mobile courses. So you can, you know, uh, probably three to seven minute courses, uh, then apply that learning at uh, micro internships to receive verified reporting and badging to, to enhance your resume and, and, and LinkedIn uh, profile, et cetera. So uh, that is kind of the, the overall gist of, of the platform. So, uh, you know, our direct to consumer kind of uh, offering is, is that exactly, you know, what I mentioned, come onto the platform, consume these courses, uh, have the ability to, to then apply that learning at a micro internship. So anywhere, you know, anything, you know, less than uh, two weeks to, to, uh, to a month. Um, and then, you know, be able to receive, you know, verify reporting that, you know, you were, you took those courses, you worked at those events. Uh, and then on kind of an enterprise scale, we work directly with, you know, HR departments, et cetera, for, you know, helping them onboard new and uh, onboard and train, you know, new or even existing uh, employers, you know, within their organization in a more engaging way. Uh, and also to help those those individuals uh, as it relates to their uh, enhancement uh, in their in their workforce and career readiness. Well, let's walk through each constituent. Um, so now say I'm a, 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 a am I an actual college student or can I be a recent graduate? Like who is the, the young yes. person? You can be both. Okay, so uh, hypothetically, I'm in college or I'm just graduated, and I find field experience. Do I have to pay to do these learnings, or is this how does that part work? Right. So we have there are two ways there. So uh, in, in some instances, uh, you can come onto the platform, and yes, there is a, a, a pay as you go type of uh, you know direct to consumer offering where yes, I, you know I I heard about field experience. I heard that they can help, um, you know, enhance my my work readiness at, in the eyes of potential employers. Uh, so, yes, you can come onto the platform, sign up for, um, you know, uh, a subscription and, and go that way. Also, we have, um, you know, our, our the, the organizations that we work with, they will also pay for certain seats. And, you know, we have uh, unique matching tools, et cetera, which in within our platform that would allow us to, uh, to, to be able to, um, let's just say recruit to universities or, or colleges within the area. And then that's another way that we would, um, you know, onboard different students to, to get engaged with the content and then the opportunities that that organization has posted to say, Hey, you know, we need X amount of, of, of slots filled for an upcoming event or internship opportunity and, uh, and then we will work directly with, uh, you know, colleges and universities within that area. So I go through the process. I do some of these learnings. At that point, I show mastery of whatever the skills they were looking for. And then I just wait and hope they pick me uh, for this opportunity. Like, how does how does my journey go? Right. Yes. Yeah. So uh, there is uh, uh, an evaluation period and, um, you know, very similar to uh, other uh job boarding platforms in that sense where, yes, you know, once you get to the, the, uh, the, the portion of, of the platform 
where there is the evaluation. Everyone does not get chosen for, you know, each um, position that they uh, apply for. But, you know, again, since these are micro internships, you know, we, we will have opportunities, every, you know, throughout the weeks and over the weekends, et cetera, uh, as opposed to yet just, you know, your traditional uh, 12 week, you know, summer long internships that, that most of us are accustomed to thinking about. And then from that point, I could actually be hired. And is that, that that's what I'm shooting yeah. for, right? To get a full time job or a project based kind of contract worker job? What are the ex, uh, opportunities that are afforded me? Yes. Yeah, so uh, ours are the contract based, um, again, you know, short stints, micro experiences, but you are building a resume towards, you know, um, having the ability, you know, enhancing your, uh, your, your, your resume for that ability to be chosen for a more, more permanent position, whether it be with the actual uh, organization that hired you for, you know, just that, the interim period or, you know, other organizations that, that you apply to their, you know, more, more permanent positions. Now, what is the kind of job opportunities like field experience is good at kind of getting, is this like, a, I'm an accountant or is it, I'm a, you know, what, what kind of work is being done or, or it could be anything. Right. So uh, great question there. So we have been working with, so let's, let's go pre COVID pre COVID. We were working with, you know, some of the most uh, recognized uh, brands in the country, you know, uh, and, and especially event brands. So you, you can imagine like a Super Bowl or a final four uh, thousands and thousands of, of contract workers and volunteers are required to to execute, you know, the the weeks leading up to uh, in that that event, the actual day of the event, and then you know the couple of days after the event as as people are dispersing. So, uh, for an, you know, example like a um, a Super Bowl, we have you know all types of of opportunities with you know different organizations that are putting on events throughout the week, um, and and the the opportunities within those. Um, those uh, events are are varied. So, yes, yeah, some people are working in accounting type of of, uh, of positions where you know they may be helping with um, you know collecting payments at certain events or you know keeping count uh, to make sure that you know we don't overflow uh, a facility um, to, to stay in compliance. There, uh, you know, we've had um, you know criminal justice back or yeah criminal background. Um, uh, individuals come and, and help work with, you know, the police and fire departments on different opportunities. Uh, you know, I can kind of roll through the gamut. You know, you have your traditional um, positions where you may be working with some of the VIP talent, you know, some of the celebrities that are in town who need to get from place to place. So we've had individuals uh, either uh, navigating them to and from, you know, their locations or actually, you know, riding in the passenger seat and making sure that they keep track of their, their agenda for the week uh, to, to keep them on schedule. So um, the, the opportunities are, are, uh, are, are varied and, and, you know, it's many, many, many different opportunities that we have for, for these prospective students. And then from, uh, are these paid or are these uh, kind of not paid opportunities? We have both. And, you know, on, as the students apply on our platform, they can see whether the opportunity is is paid or a volunteer opportunity. So uh, they know that information up front. Now, from the um, the company level, uh, this is something if I'm doing an event or a large scale kind of uh, experience, you're you're a great partner for me because you're vetting all these people and kind of putting them through uh, some learning slash training uh, hybrid. I would imagine that is getting me somebody who goes through that. They're pretty much ready to go, right? They need less training than if it was just, I just went on Craigslist and said, I need a bunch of young people. That is exactly right. And and that's one of our differentiators where, you know, when you come to field experience, you know, we are, are, you know, delivering a, an individual uh, that is, is ready to work that event. So especially, you know, the organizations that send over, you know, prerequisite type of material that we then, uh, our, our learning scientists, um, you know, they, they curate that content and put it into that, that, you know, immersive, that engaging mobile content. So, you know, you start to learn about the brand that you're going to be working with 
or, you know, different, um, you know, uh, speeches or different mantras that these organizations have even before you get on site. So that's exactly right. The training starts weeks before you actually show up to the event. So now, um, because of COVID, how has your organization had to make shifts? Because I'm sure there's less in-person things going on. So you had to figure out new stuff to do. Yes. And, uh, that, that's a great point there. And, and, you know, uh, organizations had to make many different decisions, you know, as it relates to COVID. And, you know, one of the things that, you know, field experience we decided to do was kind of double down. So, uh, you know, we really started focusing on our infrastructure, um, you know, website redesign, content redesign, development enhances, et cetera. And, um, and, you know, we were looking at our roadmap and, you know, we always, uh, had, had a plan to um, to have our offering for our enterprise uh, type of clients. So essentially, what we did was just kind of brought you know that uh, forward in our in our roadmap, and we really really started to you know redesign our platform and our messaging, our you know our user personas, user experience, uh, and gear it towards the enterprise sale. So you know you talk about an organization that, you know, they have um, hundreds to hundreds of thousands of employees um, and, you know, they need, you know, ways to continuously uh, get new messaging to those employees, uh, new training to those employees, you know, new employees that are, that are being onboarded, you know, unique ways to, to, uh, to train them in engaging ways versus just, you know, static uh, brochures or pamphlets, whatever. So, we have uh, that is the, the the shift that we were able to make as an agile small business uh, during COVID, and and we have really really uh, been receiving really great feedback uh, as we've been speaking to these you know big organizations about helping them uh, train their their existing uh, employees and, and then onboard new employees as well. So, what do you need more of right now? Do you need more young learners that want to? Um kind of get onto the platform, learn and be available for work? Or do you need more kind of corporate entities that want to do the stuff you just described? Today, Yes. Today with the uncertainty, we need more corporate organizations um, because, you know, everyone is still uh, a bit uncertain of, you know, when events will be coming back and, and all of that great, uh, you know, the great things that we were used to pre COVID. So, so yes, more organizations that are looking for unique ways to engage, um, you know, their workforce. Uh, that is what we're looking for right now and, and, and really making big pushes with our sales and marketing. On. So now what is the pain those folks are having? Like what's a symptom that field experience can uh, help them get uh, improvement in? Yes. Yeah, so uh, w- one of the big pain points is, um, you know, I don't want to say, you know, kind of is compliance, you know, where, you know, actually uh, knowing that your your employees actually took the training and they consumed it and, and they uh, they didn't just, um, you know, there is maybe a, a video that you have to view. They didn't just uh, skip through the video to get to the next uh, the next portion of the training. They actually consumed the video. So, for example, with field experience, you know, in, in our um, uh, micro trainings, you actually have to engage with the video in some uh, in some of the lessons. So there may be a video playing and then the video asks you to engage with the screen. So you have to to drag and drop a word somewhere or it may put that employee into a simulation that, you know, we've uh, you know, like the, the organization has has kind of given us insight to. So, you know, we put the employee in, into a simulation uh, so they would be able to perform, you know, in, in, uh, in the, you know, in a real world experience, uh, you know, in a similar manner. So the, the employee has to be engaged. Uh, they, they have to, uh, you know, flip through screens. They can't just, uh, you know, read static images or, or, or text. And I think that's the big part is, is, you know, making sure that there's, you know, compliance that individuals are actually consuming the training. Uh, you know, we have the built-in reporting, et cetera. And then, you know, just a unique way. It's, it's, this isn't a, you know, um, uh, you know, this is one more thing I have to do. We, we really engage with the the individuals and, and the fact that it's mobile, you know, you don't have to be at a desk, you know, um, 
at work, taking this, uh, consuming this training. You know, you can be uh, in transit. You can be at home on the couch. Uh, you can be to and from, you know, picking up um, kids from school, et cetera. And, you know, those, uh, you know, 10 minutes you have waiting on the child in the parking lot before, you know, you can take two or three lessons on, on our platform. So that is the advantage. And then so a company, uh, maybe somebody in HR or somebody that's in charge of training and development, they can come to you with kind of a concept of this is the kind of training we'd like to do. And then you can build out all of that in order to give them that flexible learning, micro learning experience for their people. That is exactly right. And, and we call that a learning journey. So we uh, our learning scientists work with those individuals to curate this learning journey. And, you know, there may be milestones within the journey where, uh, you know, the HR uh, representative or the learning and engagement uh, representative, they, you know, they want a certain achievement or accomplishment to happen before the, uh, the learner can move on to the next phase of the learning journey. So that's exactly right. We map all of that out and then digitize it in, in our unique, um, you know, proprietary way on our platform. And then uh, that is the, the solution that is delivered to the client. And then I would imagine that this is kind of industry agnostic. It doesn't matter what industry these folks are in. If they want to explore this kind of micro learning, uh, you guys can build whatever they need. That is exactly right. And um, that, that is you know, key for us, uh, user agnostic. Uh, it doesn't matter what type of industry, uh, what type of employees you have, uh, you know, age ranges, et cetera. Um, we, yes, we cater to everyone. And then the subject matter also doesn't matter. So if they're doing um, kind of learning in any aspect, whether it's about culture, whether it's about, you know, diversity, you know, any subject matter you can build learning around, right? Because I, I wouldn't think that matters. No, that's exactly right. And, and you know, we've been exposed to, to you know, many things that have come to the forefront during during COVID and, and um you know, uh, you know, the social justice has been one one big kind of topic that a lot of organizations have come to us about and just really, you know, helping them present uh, this type of training in, uh, you know, in a more progressive way. And so you're exactly right. All different topics and especially those topics that are in the forefront uh, that, that really need to have a lot of, of attention, uh, you know, paid to them, uh, you know, we're able to uniquely um you know, deliver that, that content, that messaging, that learning in a unique and engaging way. So now um, if somebody wants to learn more, I guess you, you work primarily with the HR department. Is that right? We do, but, but yes, if someone wants to learn more, uh, of course, you know, uh, through, through their, their sign up on, you know, with their organization, they already uh, sign up with an account on our platform. So there is the ability to, uh, you know, make purchases as a, you know, just a regular consumer outside of your organization. If you want to, you know, uh, look into our library and, and learn about, you know, other topics, uh, et cetera. And then what's the website? It is fieldexperience.com. Uh, that is F I E L D X P E R I E N C E.com. So, it's field experience without the E in experience, right? Exactly. Sorry. Yes. Good stuff, Chris. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story today. Thank you a lot, Lee. I'm glad that you had me on. All right. This is Lee Cantor. We will see you all next time on Atlanta Business Radio. And remember, this work would not be possible without the support of our sponsor, OnPay. Please support them so we can continue to share these important stories. Today's episode of Atlanta Business Radio is brought to you by OnPay. Built in Atlanta, OnPay is the top-rated payroll and HR software anywhere. Get one month free at OnPay.com.